Hi boys and girls, I'm going to show you another way to make your picture. Instead of tracing the shapes, this is a way to use your drawing as um, something to cut out. So this is the one that I made. This is the picture that I was inspired by. I took the original photo and I made it larger and then I brought it to a window and I traced to make it larger. Now then what I did from there is I started to cut out all of the shapes. So you can see here, all of the shapes are cut out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these shapes and I'm going to start laying them down onto the piece of paper that I would like to use. I'm going to use a big bold marker so that you can see. And I'm going to start going around and tracing the shapes this way. Now I have this shape and I can start to cut it out. And you wanna think about why you're choosing the colors that you're choosing. I told you before that the reason why I chose the colors on this one was because my daughter's name is Violet, so I used violet colors. Uh, Violet also has really beautiful blue eyes. That's one of the things that people always say, oh, look at her beautiful blue eyes. Frankly, all of my children have really beautiful eyes. But since I'm doing her picture right now, I'm gonna stick to the colors that represent her. So you can see that now I have that shape. And yes, I will be cutting out the smaller details too, but for right now, we're gonna stick to those bigger shapes. So even like this one right here, maybe I would want to do, red because she was in that red wagon. So all of these bigger shapes are what I'm going to continue to trace onto my paper. If you don't have colored paper, that's fine. You can be using any of the paper that you make. You can use fabric. And by making the, the any of the paper that you make, I mean the ones where you were drawing on one side. So if you only had white paper, that was fine. I also used wrapping paper for the background of the one that I have completed. So if you have any leftover wrapping paper around, you can use that too. So, so far I have these two pieces. This is her neck. So I wanna add that. And now I can decide which paper I might wanna start laying all the stuff down onto. So I'm going to lay this down here. I'm going to lay this, whoops, down here. And you're going to notice that it's all going to start fitting together like a puzzle. So all of these pieces that you're going to start cutting out, you just keep filling them in, filling them in, and then you'll start to be able to glue everything down and add more details. And yes, when you're done creating the bigger shape like this, that's when you can start to cut out the smaller pieces. Now you might look at the nose and say, okay, Mrs. Sasso, and here, that's not a shape. And you'd be correct. So for a nose, I actually had to make it into a shape. So I'm just kind of using the lines that I have and making it into a shape from there. The, this is going to take a little bit more of my smaller cutting skills. And I'm going to start cutting out the mouth. And if you want, you can even cut out the lips and everything later. But you can start with this. Maybe I want to add light blue. And I'm gonna start little by little cutting out these pieces. So I would cut that out and I would start sticking that down. So that is how I made this. I used my drawing, my tracing, and I cut it out into little shapes, traced it onto my paper, and started to put it together like a puzzle. I hope you're having fun, and as always, I want you to enjoy, stay creative, and if you have any questions, let me know. Can't wait to see where you go with this.